You got to get away from this fear of I don't want to sell stuff to people because the only way you can serve people is to actually sell to them. What can you add on to that business, that product, that service you have? When they do get the traffic, they do get the sales, the money start coming in, but they get surprised by how fast the money goes out. It has to work where it has to work. How important is sales right now? Like, what's some things that y'all are doing to just get more sales right now? Like, Man, I, I, I want to challenge anybody out there that's watching right now. Because a lot of people got hangups. They get stuck around sales. Yeah. I had somebody tell me last week, they said, um, I don't want to be salesy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I told them, like, like, what's the core part of the word salesy? Yeah. She said sales. Yeah. All right, so, so if you want sales, you might have to be just like a little bit sales. You'll figure out how to make it work for you. So what I'm telling people is that like you got to get away from this fear of I don't want to sell stuff to people because the only way you can serve people is to actually sell to them. Yeah. Like if I think I got a product or service, I'm going to get somebody a transformation or help. If I can't get them to actually want it and buy it, then I'm never going to be able to get them what they need to have a transformation for it. And, and what I also find is that a lot of times entrepreneurs, especially in our community, they have like whatever product or service they got, they trying to change somebody's life. Or they like, hey, I want to give back. I want to provide for, you know, single moms because I was a single mom. I want to, you know, do something for parents or for the elderly or whatever it is. Well, they need money in order to really serve those people and operate at a high level. Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about sales, I'm talking about how can you increase the conversions that you got, like, on your actual um, pages, right? Too many times I meet entrepreneurs that got uh, e-commerce, online, offline, and they don't have built-in upsells. Yeah. They don't have, like, a way for, you know, when I go into McDonald's, first thing they ask me is, hey, you know, when you get that burger, you want, you want fries and a drink, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to add that to it. If I go to Best Buy, if I, if I buy, you know, one of these microphones from Best Buy, as soon as I get to the counter, they're going to be like, you want a protection plan on that? Exactly. A protection plan ain't nothing but an upsell. But yeah. check this out. Neil, you know what a protection plan is? Yeah. A warranty. Right. This might already come with a warranty, warranty. in it. They selling right. you a warranty on top of the warranty you got. And now, does everybody say yes, no, but a percentage do. So they been making probably billions more per year by having a warranty on top of products that already got a warranty on it that maybe 3% of those come back and they ever have to do anything with. Mm. So, so number one, how can we just ask the people like, hey, what else is it? What's the next step? What can we do? The other thing I always talk about is what can you add on to that business, that product, that service you have. So in the supply chain where, hey, like this is the thing that I do right in the middle, I always say, what comes before that thing and right after that thing? Mm. So I had somebody um, last night I was sure. talking to that said, hey, you know, I, I create books, help people create books. I said, well, if all you do is help with the manuscript, like what comes after that? What do they need after that? Well, they need graphic design for the cover. They need somebody to actually publish the book and get it out. They might need somebody to create a, uh, uh, well, ain't no might. They need somebody to create a sales page or a website for the they book. They need somebody to print the book. They need somebody to print the book. They need somebody to run yeah. ads. So that means that's all things that you can incorporate into that business is upsells to make your packages larger, to make them bigger, to be able to charge more. Or even if you don't want to do it, you can partner with somebody, send them the actual leads for it, and then get a kickback for it. So either way, you still make more money. Mm. So, so most of the time, I see people that have all these different money opportunities around them, but they're not tapping into it. Why are they not tapping into it? Because most of them just don't even know because they're not in programs like yours. Yeah. They're not coming to events, right? And they're not connected with people that have already been further down the line. Yeah. And, and if I could say one more thing. Oh, please. When we talk about sales, we don't talk about enough. It's profitability. Yeah. And before you go there, because I don't, I don't want what you just said was so heavy. You dropped so many <laughs> gems that I don't want nobody to miss it. Anybody listening to this episode, you are... You literally said, find what goes before that product and what goes after that product. Everything you're selling, they it, the product essentially, it needs help. Like, exactly. Every, like, that means instantly somebody can find a way to add more money to their business right now just by identifying that just product. Just doing that, that one thing. Is that, and like I said, it don't even have to be something that you do. Yeah. Like if, if, I, if I do the manuscripts for the book, I don't have to do graphic design. I don't have to incorporate it. Now, I most likely could, right? Because probably the people you're going to, all they did is get somebody offshore in the Philippines or somewhere that's probably doing the actual graphics. Yeah. They charge you $1,000 and they paying, you know, hundreds of dollars for the actual finished product. So you could incorporate it. But if you don't, like I said, just connect with somebody that does and tell them, hey, every time I send you a lead and you close, you know, I want this amount back for the leads. Yeah. Who would not take free leads? Yeah. Anybody. And anybody. It's anybody. Because for that person, that means those are leads coming in that they don't have to advertise for. Yeah. They don't have to go out there and shake hands and kiss babies and do all those things for. It's free money coming in for them. Yeah. So they'd be happy to cut you a piece of it back. Easy. Let's talk to you. Let's talk about the hopping to profitability. Yeah, right. Like, like a lot of uh, business owners, where they get caught up at is when they do get the traffic, they do get the sales, the money start coming in, but they get surprised by how fast the money goes out. Mm -hmm. Right. And they're not focused on profit. Mm -hmm. And then what they see is they say, hey, you know what? I got this e-com store, Shopify site, Amazon, whatever like that. And it's blowing up. 
But then I realized that, hey, as soon as the money come in, I might, you know, do a, a, promo, a promo and make 10 grand. But then for me to actually fulfill that and get all that stuff out and then renew my inventory, that might have cost me eight grand. Yeah. So my 10 grand payday looked like two grand. Yep. And then that's before taxes and all the other stuff that come out of it that we pretend don't exist. Yeah. So like literally just getting clear on how can I be more profitable? If you think about how you can increase profitability, just two things. It's a bunch of stuff you can do. Two things I want to talk about is number one, thinking about, um, uh, and let's talk about cash flow because people get caught up with cash and they have enough cash to operate. Number one, how can we um, take accounts payable to people that we owe money to and press that out further? Now, I'm not saying don't pay them, right? Everything you do need to operate in integrity. Yeah. But what I am saying is a lot of times we treat our business finances like our personal finances, meaning that, hey, uh, we've been trained and taught that um, we should owe no man nothing. We've been trained and taught, yeah. right, that we should never be in debt. Yeah. We've been trained and taught all these things in personal life that we take in the business life. Mm -hmm. So if I have an invoice and I got 30 days to pay it, if I'm paying it as soon as I get it instead of 30 days out, what that's doing is using my actual cash, using my cash flow, my cash reserves, right? When I could maybe push out and still pay it in time within that 30 days, but that gives me 30 days that I can actually move that money and use that money to make more money. 